Okay, so we got access to the front door here. We have a walk in. It smells very, very pleasant in here. As soon as you walk in, this is the light fixture that you see. You get the curvature around all the entryways, similar to what you would call a Chesmar home. Now this is a North Star Elite custom built home. You see a closet here as you come in the front foyer. Uh, this is a texture that is throughout the house on all the walls. Um, you can kind of see the different designs in the glass as well. That is also a solid wood door and wood floors. So as we come in, just a foyer area, a little side table here. So here we're gonna go right to the living room. Now the living room is 22 by 18. So as you can see, uh, this is where the kitchen starts. So if we just use this wall from there, it is um, 22 and then by 18, so 22. Same rock that is on the outside of the home is the same thing that is used to also build in um, the fireplace as well. And you do have two built-in bookshelves as well and cabinets. Give you, I'm trying to give you an idea of the size here. Oh, they're full of games. <laughs> All right. Now this looks to be a log burning fireplace. I don't see any kind of gas in there is all. Another book built in as well. And then from the living room, this is what you're able to look out and see. So they have another little fire pit out there as well. And we'll go out there. And then in ground pole. This is the kitchen. It's 16 by 20. Uh, it's a beautiful, well done kitchen. They got a barn, sliding bar door here. They got the dining room. Now they didn't give me the dimensions of the dining room, uh, but as you can see, just from the table here, um, that is eight seats that is, that is there around it. So three on each side and one on each end, and they still have plenty of room. I wanna back up into the kitchen so you can kind of see the space. Okay, from the kitchen, plenty of countertop room. Double sink. Dishwasher, the fridge is included as well. It is a built-in wine rack above it. Custom cabinetry. Um, I'm gonna back up here so you can kind of see. So, built-in oven, microwave. And as you can kind of see here in the tile work, it's stone and then inlaid as well, the glass. Did a very beautiful job of picking the colors. Uh, sink cabinets as we saw before, they are pull out. And they are also soft close. Soft close, what that means is that if you try to slam it, it prevents you from doing so. So they are soft close. This is the same glass tile that you see. And it's right above the electric stove. And of course, the exhaust vent. They do have recessed lighting as well. Let's take a look at the pantry. So in the pantry, we see they have plenty of room here besides the cabinetry outside. And there is a light in there as well. There we go. That is an eight foot door by the way as well. Kind of give you an idea. So as you can see, it's about the same height as the cabinets, just a little bit taller. From the kitchen area, this is what you're able to look out and see. And 
I am standing right in front of the sink. So we see very tall ceilings as well. Uh, speakers are built in, and there's four in this room, one in each corner. Solid wood fireplace, I mean, sorry, wood uh, mantle. As we come down, we see the office. And this is a gray color they did in here. Looks really well. And they are homeschooling. So to the right of us is the front door again. And I'm gonna come over to this side here. So I'm just passing over the front door. And this is the full bath. Tile work, granite countertops. Same glass inlay in the niche. Trying to give you an idea of the size here. Oh, this must be their daughter's room here. So it looks like a full size bed there. They got two end tables, a little desk, another little end table. And they do have shutters as well. Kind of give you a placement of where we're at in the front. So we're just to the left or to the right of the driveway, depending if we're coming in or going out. Again, you see eight foot solid wood doors. Closet is here. So now we're coming back out. So we just came from this side. We're going to go back over this side here. So again, uh, just wanted to point out too, these are glass doors that can be shut as well. So if we wanted to shut those, That would be the office area there. Okay, as we come in, looks like this is the master here. So that is a king size bed, a bay window there with another desk, a chair for a little sitting area, a little reading area. Same thing, custom installed shutters throughout. And we're located right in the back of the house right now. Tall tray ceilings. And the carpet looks very well maintained as well. Um, I'm not seeing anything that is um, showing any heavy signs of usage. This is the, uh, the bathroom here. Same glass tile work. So his and her sinks are separate. Master bath is 10 feet by 11 feet. Do have a chandelier in here as well. Now this is actually a walk-in glass shower. So they have a little bench there. Right. This is really interesting tile as well.
and it's tucked back into the corner here. Again, we see his and her sink, so this is hers, and this would be his. Nice deep soaking tub as well. This is going to be one of the closets here. So it looks like these are built in here, then it goes up and around. And then this is just a dresser that they fit in between the two built-ins. And then just a shelf up above and one below. Same custom um, shutters as well. So let's go over to this side here. One of these should be the water closet and the other one should be another. Okay, so this is your water closet is, or a toilet. Same lights as we saw before. Let's see if this is, yep. So this is the linen closet here. So the master bedroom, just to give you a rough estimate on the size, is 19 by 14. So 19 feet by 14 feet. Can you give me an idea of the area? So you can see that they do have two nightstands, one on each side of the king size bed, and still plenty of room to fit a desk and a chair, and still have plenty of room to walk around as well. Give you just an idea of the floor space. Looks like they have a little doggy bed underneath there. So now we're gonna come out, so we're gonna walk right past the office in the living room. And we're gonna turn right where the front door is. We're gonna go through the kitchen. Past the dining, and yes, there is two doors here to the outside. One here and two double doors here, which would be nice for a breeze that comes through. You'd be able to open those doors up and still sit inside and enjoy those breeze. Uh, that is a very large barn door. It is installed. It's beautiful. So this they're using as a flex room here. So they got the beanbags for the kids, gaming console, another TV here as well. I do not see the measurements on this space here. Um, but there is no doors here or here, so they're using it as a flex room. This is going to be the laundry room here. They do have a full-size fridge in here. Same custom cabinetry that we saw. Same granite countertops. Washer and dryer. And this is the door that we saw when we walked up to the side of the garage. So this would be a nice area for when the kids come in from playing in the pool. They don't have to come across the wood floors. They can come into this room, throw their suits right into the laundry and be able to uh, continue throughout the rest of the house. Now this floor here is not wood, but ceramic. This is actually a ceramic floor that we're looking at now. And you can tell it's, you can see where the grout lines are here. So this is the next bedroom here. And this one is 10 by 11. And this is considered the second bedroom here. And they got two bunk beds in here. It's 
Plenty of room for toys. They have a Jack and Jill bathroom. Their closet is here. No built-ins on this one. And then they have the toilet shower here. Another sink here that leads into this next bedroom. Oh, so this is 10 by 13 here. And we have a little bit larger of a closet here. So this is the bedroom that we just came out of here. So one bedroom here. Again, you got a sink back here. Tub and shower back here. Closet to my right. Another sink. And then we go right into this bedroom. So it's just a big circle all the way around. And then this is that flex room that we just came out of here. They're using so it looks like this is going to be going to the garage yep so we have the garage here two water heaters Looks like they have the expansion tanks on them as well. So this will give you a good idea of the size. So this is the one car garage here. A medium sized SUV, breaker panels in here as well. And then the two car garage is over here. Attic access is also in the garage as well, under the single car. That is the return for the AC system. So this, lo this looks like this room is 13 by 13. This is what this room is here. There is also some building shelving here on the ends of this. If we walk around the kitchen, see there's some outlets. So they have six stools that start here. And there. Again, this is just the kitchen here. So let's go outside. These are the just double doors. I have a little table out here. Six chairs fit comfortably around it. I got two more chairs over here. Little barbecue pit. Uh, that is their AC drain line. Looks like they actually put a TV right above the door and speakers as well. Um, they also play music outside. This is the side we came across earlier with the easement. As you can see, the walkthrough gate there. This is the view of the back. This is a little 
outside fire pit, which is nice. Two chairs. Use the water feature. And they have a little kids landing here as well, which is nice. So those are just kind of want to get in the water but not get submerged. You can sit there, three steps and go down it. Another little step to get in there. This is the water feature here. I do not see an indication of the depth of it. There is another little seat here as well. Like there's some water that is coming out of there, so if I just come where it's flowing, they have the same thing coming up here as well, which is nice. Another seat here, and this is definitely the deeper side of the pool here that I'm on. There's an elevation change here. Just so you can kind of see. There's a seat right there in front of us. They have a little basketball hoop here. Water feature there. Another water feature there. This is the idea of that sitting area as well. From the other side. Uh, there is also an elevation change as we so in order for you to get up to the pool area, you do walk up this step here. Goes around the side of the house, which is nice because it keeps water from getting into the pool. So if you get a hard rain, uh, they do have gutters as well. So you're not overfilling the pool. But I think it's a really nice feature that they built the elevation change in here. It's not running into the pool. Very large trampoline in here. That is the walkthrough gate here. So we got one on each side. And we also have one behind the trampoline, which allows for uh, this to be, uh, you know, basically brought in with a lawnmower, uh, riding lawnmower, and be able to mow this area without having to try to fit through these little walkthrough gates. Uh, let's see the pool equipment here. Looks like there's some PVC. These installed. Both of those are filters. Nutrition systems working for that pool. The pool pump is right beside it. The future is right there. And you see the tall windows on the outside of the property. kind of recap a little, little bit. So as we come in, we go right into the kitchen. There's the formal dining. The living area here. Office is through those double doors. The first bedroom is here. They have their bath here. 
The master is on the other side of the house, next to the office. And this is your master. And this is where the bathroom is. And then on the other side of the house is going to be the other two rooms with the flex room. So in front of us is the laundry room that goes to the outside exterior. To the right of us is the garage. If we turn all the way around, we go through the flex room, which is 13 by 13. And then we enter the two bedrooms that have the Jack and Jill bath. So bedroom one is in front of us. Bedroom two is beside us. Again, they have the sink, closet to my right, tub and shower combo, another sink, and the second bed, and the fourth bedroom. So two, two towards the back, one towards the front, and then the master is off to the right. And then you have a flex room as well. which if you wanted to make this into a movie room, you could do so pretty easily. Again, wood floors and then tile throughout where the kids are and where the water areas are as well. Although in the kitchen, it is wood floors throughout. Again, we see that same custom cabinetry here. And again, the refrigerator stays. So does the stove, microwave, and of course, the oven. And then the front doors. Okay guys, well, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and um, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Thanks, bye.